In a Utah prison, a family tradition is getting out of hand. When you grow up in it or, or you have family members, you just automatically just go where your family is. That's kind of like religion. I mean, there, there's so many in it. I don't even know half of them, the younger generations. They spill blood, flaunt weapons, and order hits even behind bars. A bunch of alpha males running around trying to determine who's the king of the jungle. Officers have to stop the violence before it spreads. I like beating people and watching blood squirt out. Inside Utah State Prison, this extended family is all about a gang. This full service facility sits at the base of the Rockies. Inside live 80% of the state's incarcerated. The massive complex houses all security levels, from thieves to serial murderers, and contains its own mental health facility. USP is also home to the state's most dangerous women, over 400 of them. Their records as varied as the men's. But the biggest challenge in this prison, controlling gangs. Out of nearly 4,000 inmates, over one in four have gang ties. The problem with having gangs uh, inside an institution is they start to click up. They start to develop their own little societies inside the prison. They start to get involved in uh, the smuggling trade, like trying to smuggle tobacco into the, or drugs into the institution. They run a little, almost like a mafia type organization. USP has a long list of gangs. The Sereños, Crips, Aryan groups. Most began as street gangs. Behind bars, rigid codes keep members in line, disobey gang leaders' orders, and face bodily harm. All right. All right. Gangs like the California-based Sereños are notorious for violence. Behind bars, they created a criminal empire by forcing smaller Latino gangs to join them. Today, their membership is in the tens of thousands. Gangs at USP caused violent incidents to spike, nearly doubling in just five years. It falls to Sergeant Tracy Skinner to locate the gangbangers and keep them under control. Inmates and gangs use hand signs like these to show their allegiance. But that doesn't make rounding up active gang members any easier. 